Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're doing super duper wonderful and in today's video I'll show you 5 awesome pro level powerpoint animation techniques that you can start using in your presentations right away. First of all you will learn how you can add awesome flip effect to your slide zooms and make them even more interesting. After that you will learn about animated textures that you can use to spice up your illustrations and slide design. Next I'll show you how you can combine 3D rotation options with morph transition and create this awesome intro slide. And after that you will learn how you can create this awesome futuristic looking typewriter animation for your text. And finally we will spin some colorful donut charts because it's fun. By the way all of the animation ideas and techniques that you'll see in today's video come from my buddy Interstellar PowerPoint, who is an awesome PowerPoint creator and has allowed me to share all of his animation secrets with you. So let's go! Ok my friends, so first of all let me show you how you can create this awesome flip animation for your slide zooms. As you can see once I'm clicking on any of these section zooms or slide zooms we're getting this beautiful flip animation. So let me show you how you can make that. Alright, so let's just jump into this slide and let's insert a slide zoom. So let's go to insert, zoom, let's click on slide zoom and now let's just pick any slide that we would like to zoom into. That's beautiful. So here's our little slide zoom and now let's make sure that we remove the zoom border because we don't need any zoom borders, ok? And let's make sure that return to zoom is activated which means that once we zoom in we will be able to zoom back. And as you can see once we click on the slide zoom we zoom in, we can play any animations that are present on the slide and once we're done we click again and we zoom back. And this is how the slide zoom animation usually looks like, you zoom in and you zoom back. So let's make it a little bit more interesting by adding some 3D rotation. And now let's just pick one of the parallel rotation presets, ok? And now let's add a bunch of X rotation so that our slide zoom basically flips to the other side. You can as well click on other handles such as Y and Z as well. And now our slide zoom is pretty much flipped to the other side as you can see. We can see the backwards and once we click on it we zoom in and at the same time the slide zoom is flipping. And this way we have created this awesome slide zoom flip effect for our slide zoom. Skadoosh! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And by the way here on the right side of the slide we have this guy floating up and down nicely. So let me show you how I have animated this guy wearing VR glasses. Let's just jump into the animation pane. So there are two animations applied to this photo. First of all there is a motion path animation. To be precise it's motion path line animation just up and down. And make sure that the distance is really short just subtle up and down ok. And the animation duration is set to 2 seconds and as well we have smooth start and smooth end of 1 second and autoverse is activated. Alright. And now the second animation that is applied to this VR guy is spin animation ok. And we are spinning just 2 degrees so that's a very subtle spin animation. Once again autoverse is activated and a little bit of smooth start and smooth end. And with those two animations up and down motion path and that subtle spin animation of 2 degrees we get this subtle floating animation. That's awesome. And these text boxes on the left side are animated in pretty much the same way just without the spin animation. Alright so that was all for the slide zoom flip animation and now let's keep on going. Ok my friends and next let's jump into the world of animated textures. As you can see a lot is going on on this slide because this slide is using animated textures. So let me show you how you can create one of those animated textures to spice up your slide design or your illustrations. Just make sure that your illustrations are made out of vector shapes and if you can edit the points of your illustration shapes that's good. It means that they're definitely vector. And now let's just jump to this beautiful empty slide and let's insert a square. Let's go to insert shapes, let's choose the rectangle tool, hold down the shift key to draw a perfect square. And let's make sure it's perfectly aligned to the center of the slide, that's beautiful. Let's make a duplicate, let's increase the size of the duplicate, let's line it as well. And let's keep on repeating the process until we have a couple of these uh, beautiful squares and to save some time I have already done it for you. Ok and now let's just make sure that we select all of these guys and we hit Ctrl G to group them into one group. This way it will be much easier to animate all of these beautiful squares. And now let's go to animations and let's add a spin animation to this group of squares. For the direction let's use clockwise and for the amount uh, quarter spin will do. Now let's go into the animation pane. Let's make sure this animation starts with previous duration 2 seconds. 
And now in the spin animation options, let's make sure that we add smooth start and smooth end of one second or traverse is checked, which means that this animation will spin and it will spin back. Okay, just like that. And now let's add a second animation to this beautiful group of squares. Let's make sure that we're using this button add animation because otherwise we might replace the current animation. We don't want that. And the second animation is grow shrink animation. Okay, we can adjust the size of growth. So let's use 130%. Of course, you can absolutely experiment with a percentage, whatever works for you. And we can as well add a smooth start of one second. And let's use autoverse as well so that it grows and it shrinks. Okay, and now this is the final result. As you can see, these uh, squares are spinning and growing at the same time. And after that, they are coming back. And now let's do one more fun thing with these uh, squares. As you can see now, the line style is set to straight. Let's use this sketch style. Okay, sketch style, I think will look really nice on this vase. All right. And by the way, of course, we have to change the outline color. Now it's set to blue. Let's change it to white because otherwise it would be hard to see those rectangles. Okay. So now our slide four is pretty much ready. So let's just remember that our uh, rectangles are on slide four. Now let's go to export and let's choose an animated GIF. All right. So for the slides, let's just use uh, from slide four to slide four for the second spent on each slide. Let's just use uh, zero seconds. You know, PowerPoint will figure out how long this GIF has to be. Let's make sure it stays transparent and extra large quality. And let's just hit export and your slide number four will be exported to a beautiful transparent GIF with those uh, squares animated. Okay, so let's just find that animated uh, GIF. Let's insert it as a picture and voila, here it is. It's playing automatically and it's looping until the end of time. So now let's just pause our beautiful GIF and let's move it to the side so that we can access our beautiful vase. So here we have this beautiful blue shape. So let's just duplicate it. Okay, let's make a duplicate and let's change the color of this duplicate so that we can see what's going on. Okay, let's make it red. And now let's make sure that we place this uh, red uh, shape back on the blue shape. So for that we can align it to the left and to the top. That's beautiful. So now let's uh, select our GIF. Let's bring it closer to the boss. Uh, we can shrink the size of the GIF if we wish to do so. Okay, you can position it wherever you want. And now let's make sure that the GIF is selected. Hold down the shift key. Let's select uh, the red duplicate. And now let's go to shape format, merge shapes and choose intersect. And skadoosh my friends. Now we have uh, cropped the GIF to the shape of the vase and this way we have added an animated texture to our beautiful vase and of course you can click on the crop button and adjust how your cropped GIF looks like inside the vase yeah it's super duper awesome okay looking beautiful so let's just check it out on the full screen and let's appreciate this animated texture Congratulations, my friends. Now you know how you can create animated textures and use them to spice up your slide design and your illustrations. And now let's keep on going. All right, and next let me show you how you can create this awesome rotating 3D text animation in PowerPoint. Okay, so let's just use this beautiful slide with a background photo and this huge text box in the middle. And as you can see, this text box has a nice white shine. If you would like to create this shine effect, all you have to do is to add a white shadow to your text box. Just make sure that your blur is set to 100 points and you'll get that nice white shadow. But let's talk about that uh, 3D rotation animation, okay? So let's go into the text 3D rotation options and let's choose one of the perspective uh, presets. For example, this one, perspective relaxed. Let's click on it, all right? And now for the perspective field, let's insert a maximum degree, which is 120 degrees. As you can see, if you would try to add more degrees, uh, that's the maximum, 120. And for the Y rotation, let's keep it zero for now. Okay, so now the text box looks like this, just the usual text box. And now let's just duplicate our current slide. And on the second slide, let's just type in something awesome. For example, awesome. That's awesome. All right, so now we should have two slides with two text boxes, which the perspective is set to 120 degrees. That's beautiful. And next, let's make sure that we copy this super text box. Okay, hit Control C and let's paste it into the awesome slide. Let's move it just a little bit below so that we can see what's going on. And now let's go into the 3D rotation options and let's start clicking on this left 
Y rotation arrow, okay, until we get 90 degrees. And now as you can see, this super text box is flat and it looks like it's gone, but don't worry, it is there. And now let's just move it slightly upwards until the middle point of this super text box touches the word awesome, okay? And now let's make sure that both of the slides that we have been working on are using morph transition, transition duration, one second. Because morph transition will do all of the animation magic, okay? So let's just give it a preview. And now as you can see the super text box from the first slide, it basically rotates down on the second slide. Of course, we have to do the same for the awesome text box. So now let's paste it to the first slide. Okay, let's bring it upwards. And once again, let's jump into the text 3D rotation options. And now we'll have to rotate this text box into the opposite direction of the Y rotation. So let's keep on clicking on this right arrow until we have 270 degrees. And once again, let's bring it uh, downwards just like that until the middle point touches the word super. Okay. And now we should see something fun. So let's check it out on the full screen. Well done, my friends. Now you know how you can create this awesome animated 3D rotating text animation in PowerPoint. By the way, if you would like to, you could add more slides with more text boxes and create a nice animated intro slide for your presentation. And now let's keep on going. All right, my friends, and now let me take you to Mars. Well, actually, not to Mars, but to this beautiful futuristic looking typewriter animation that you can apply to your text. I think it looks really awesome. And let me show how it's done. It's really not that difficult. Okay, so let's close the slideshow mode and let's jump to this slide where we can experiment with the animations. As you can see, currently the animation pane is absolutely empty, but don't worry, we will change that very soon. And now let's just select the slide title Mission Mars and let's go to animations and let's look for this special animation called Swivel. Okay, so let's click on it. Now in the animation options, let's make sure that the duration is very short, 0.2 seconds. And in the animation options, let's make sure the text is animated by letter. Delay between the letters is 10%. All right, this way we'll get that nice futuristic typewriter effect. That's beautiful. And now we can use the animation painter and paste the same animation from this Mission Mars title to the rest of the objects that we wish to have uh, the same animation. And now on the animation pane, we have a bunch of animations. That's beautiful. Let's just adjust how these animations start. So let's make sure that the first animation starts on the click and the rest of the animations start with previous, which means that we have to click just once and all of these animations will play at the same time. And by the way, let's make sure that we adjust the text animation for this paragraph. Let's make sure that the text is animated by word. This way, this swivel animation will look a little bit faster. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, my friends, we're doing wonderful progress. Now you know how you can create this animated futuristic typewriter effect for your text. And by the way, if you would like to learn how to create this clickable uh, menu that you can see on the left side, please watch Interstellar's uh, video where he goes in much greater detail. And now let's keep on going. All right, my friends, first of all, thank you so much. If you are still watching this video, you are a true legend. And now let's have some fun with these colorful spinning donut charts. So first of all, if you're wondering how you could create this kind of donut shape, let me show you. Let's go to insert shapes and let's use this tool called arc. And now let's just hold down the shift key to draw a perfect arc. And now let's just increase the width of the line. We can use 20 points and let's make sure that the cap type is set to round. And now you can adjust, you know, how your donut shape looks like by using those uh, yellow handles. But we don't have to focus on the slide design because Interstellar PowerPoint has done all of the hard work and we can have some fun with animations. So let's make sure that we select the yellow donut chart. And now let's go to more entrance animations and let's choose this animation called Wedged. Okay, so this is how the wedge animation looks like. Let's make sure that we decrease the duration, which means we will make this animation faster. So instead of two seconds, let's use 0.6 seconds. And now this wedge animation plays much faster, okay? So this was the first animation that we have applied to this yellow donut chart. And let's add one more animation. And this time let's add a spin animation. Let's make sure it starts with previous, duration one second. And now in the animation uh, settings, let's make sure that we change the amount of spin and let's use 1080 degrees, which basically means three full spins, three 360s, my friends. And now for the smooth end, let's just use a half a second of a second. Yeah, half a second. <laughs> All right. And this is how the animations look like. We have some awesome futuristic spin going on. I like that very much. 
And now we can use the animation painter and paste the same awesome spinning animation to the rest of the donut charts. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can make these shiny donuts spin in a futuristic way. That's super awesome. And by the way, if you are wondering how to precisely adjust your donut charts so that they represent precise percentage, for example 90%, let me show you a solution. All you have to do is just to insert a simple pie chart behind your donut charts. So just go to insert charts and choose a simple pie chart, okay? And I have already inserted a pie chart, let me just unhide it and now let me show you how we can use it to help us to adjust the donut charts. So let's just right click on the pie chart and let's choose edit data, okay? And as you can see in this uh, part one cell, we have a percentage of 65%. This is precisely where this blue line ends. And let's say we would like to change this blue line to 85%. So let's just insert 85 and let's hit enter. Now, as you can see, the pie chart has updated. And now all we have to do is just drag this blue line until it meets the edge of the pie chart. And this way we can adjust any of these beautiful donut charts to exact percentages that we wish. That's super awesome. Congratulations my friends, now you have mastered all of the 5 secret PowerPoint animation techniques and now you'll be able to animate like a pro. And now my friends, for the end of this video, let me reveal to you one more secret. Interstellar PowerPoint and one skill is actually the same person. Yep, that's me. I have started Interstellar PowerPoint channel last year in April and have created 29 videos since then. And my goal was to reach 1000 subscribers without revealing that I'm one skill. And today Interstellar PowerPoint has already more than 1000 subscribers. And I want to say huge thanks to my family who encouraged me to start a second channel. And I want to say huge thanks to all of my Interstellar fans who were there during my Interstellar journey from 0 to 1000. And at this point you might have many questions, for example, why did I start a second channel, how is it different from one skill channel, and what's next? Feel free to write your questions in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them all. But one thing for sure, more awesome PowerPoint videos coming up on both of the channels. Thank you for watching, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on my next video. And now please go check out that interstellar guy, I think he has some awesome videos.